next uh, presentation again is by someone who's um, really a superstar in this area of tackling climate change. So Climeworks, also in Switzerland, as I said, it's a recurring theme, has been name-checked by Bill Gates in his, his recent book, How to Avoid a Climate Disaster. Climeworks has also benefited from the uh, climate initiative of Stripe Payments, which is an uh, American company founded by two Limerick brothers, the Collison brothers, uh, and they have set money aside for Climeworks to do what they do. And what they do is they capture carbon, they take carbon out of the air, and they're based uh, not so far away from here. Their headquarters may be in Switzerland, but they're in Iceland. They're in Iceland as well. And uh, we're really lucky this morning that Nathalie Casas, who's the head of technology at Climeworks, and that's a very difficult position to get to, uh, and it's a very esteemed title. So, Nathalie, good morning uh, from Belfast. You're also in Switzerland. I, I think you're either in the middle of the mountains, so that's a, a screen grab picture behind you. Uh, yes, so I'm sitting at my desk in my flat, so this is uh, a nice view from, I think it's in Ticino, so south of Switzerland. Well, good. Well, Unfortunately, listen. I'm not there yet. Well, look, uh, thanks. thank you to Climeworks for joining us. The floor is yours, Nathalie. So thanks a lot, Martin, for the nice introduction. So as you said, I will talk about removing carbon dioxide from the air, so DAC, direct air capture. So why direct air capture? I think it has been discussed about 10 years ago. Is it really required? We can do it cheaper. We can do it uh, with easier technologies. But by today, I think all experts agree that if we want to keep to the global heating below uh, 1.5 degrees, we need to remove car uh, carbon dioxide from the air. So even if we would stop emitting today, we would need to take carbon dioxide out of the air. Um, I think beside the DAC, so the direct air capture, we of course also need to do other technologies. And this is uh, what is shown in this graph. So we need to um, reduce emissions. So uh, do traditional mitigation technologies. We need to um, readjust the, the carbon feedstock, and we need to remove carbon dioxide from the air. And that's what I will be talking about. Um, it's not only us who have realized that this is necessary. So if you look around the globe, there are eight countries which have set legally binding uh, legislations for net zero targets. And 124 more countries set themselves net zero goals. Besides politics, also companies are now committing to net zero. So there are uh, many big companies around the globe. You mentioned Bill Gates, so also Microsoft has committed to a net zero. And uh, if you look globally, um, they are commitments who cover 68% of the global uh, economy. So people are realizing more and more that climate change is one of the biggest risks we are facing today. So I mentioned several times the, the term net zero. So what is net zero? There, there are two things. So one thing is the CO2 neutral strategy. This can be tackled uh, by offsetting. This means that if I emit one ton of CO2, I need to make sure that somewhere else one ton of CO2 is avoided. This leads to the fact that the current emissions are stabilized. So the emissions will not increase, but there, of course, still we be emissions into the atmosphere. But if we talk about net zero, this is uh, going to a net zero, as the, the term says. So for every ton I emit, I need to make sure that one ton is taken out. And this is what we are talking about if we talk about DAC with carbon capture and storage. So we are really down to zero emissions. How do we do this? So here you have a picture of a climber collector. So it's a rather top level sketch. Um, I will go a bit more in detail in my next slide, but just that you, you understand how it looks like uh, more schematically. We suck in ambient air and we produce two products. So one product is the CO2 free or let's say CO2 pure, uh, pure air. 
And the other product is the pure CO2, which then can be used or stored. How does this technology work? So it's a two-phase adsorption process. In the box you have seen before, there is a filter material inside. We suck air, so ambient air, through this box, whereas the CO2 free air or pure air leaves the box and the CO2 gets chemically bound on the filter material inside the box. This is phase one. When the material is saturated, we close the box and start heating. So we heat it up with low grade heat up to 100 degrees. While we do so, the CO2 is released from the filter material and can be collected. When this is done, the filter material is uh, again uh, cleaned and free. We can start with phase one again and suck air through. So this is a, a cyclic process which goes round and round. So what are the, the corners of the Climeworks solution? So one very important point is that we have a modular approach. So what you have seen is this collector. It, it has the size of a box. The newest collector is a bit bigger. It has the size of a container. But the advantage of this modular approach is that you can validate the technology at a small scale. And then we multiply the small scale in order to get bigger. And we are not upscaling the collector itself. This means that we can validate our technology at a very small scale and then multiply with, with, with the good confidence that this will work. So we don't need to invest one billion in order to have a significant un learning and significant understanding of our technology. We are committed to use only sustainable energy. And um, this is, of course, due to the fact that we want to make sure that while capturing CO2, we are not emitting CO2 at the same time, or we uh, emit a minimal amount of CO2. And therefore, we, we conduct very rigorous LCA analysis of our process. So LCA is life cycle assessment. So we really understand how much CO2 we emit while we are capturing CO2 from the air. And of course, we are very proud that we are the first company in the world who has delivered CO2 out of the air to customers. And the plant with which we have done this is this one. So it's our flagship plant or the shooting star of the company. It has been uh, commissioned and inaugurated in 2017, so four years ago. And since then, it's uh, operational. And we have two customers. One is a greenhouse, uh, a greenhouse facility, and the other one or the greenhouse uses this as a fertilizer for the vegetables. So they grow tomatoes, concombers, and carrots, which we can taste every now and then when they have a batch ready. And the other customer is the Coca-Cola company, which uses this as a soda in their, their uh, mineral water. But if you think about these two applications, you might realize these are not uh, net zero. So these are uh, rather application in the circular economy. So we defossilize the feedstock, so the carbon feedstock. If you want to reduce CO2 from the atmosphere, you need to store it. And this we do with a partner called Carbfix in Iceland. So here you see a sketch what we do there. In Iceland, they have a geothermal power plant where they get, get hot water from the underground they produce electricity out of it, and then they pump the hot water underground again to get heated up and be reused afterwards. So it's a circle of hot and cold water circling around to produce electricity. What we do, we fit our process into this circle. So we have our uh, DAC unit, so direct air capture unit, where a CO2 is captured. This CO2 is then fed into the cold water stream, which is pumped down again into the uh, underground, where then the CO2 is turned into carbon mineral. So uh, Iceland has a very beneficial subsurface, which is very reactive. 
So the CO2 is reacting within two years into uh, minerals, so carbonates, and this stored in, in a solid form, which is very safe and, and permanent. So we are capturing the CO2 and our partner Carbfix is uh, doing the storage for us. How does it look like? So here you have a picture of the geothermal power plant. Our plant is very small, so it's on the corner. I, it's on the corner here. And um, this is a very small plant, which has been commissioned in, in 2017 as well. But while I'm speaking, we are commissioning a bigger plant, which you see here on the top. So this is a rendering, but now it's really actually there. And we are capturing the first tons of CO2. Uh, it's a plant where we capture 4,000 tons a year. And on the bottom, you see a mineralized or carbonated CO2. So the white uh, crystals you see this is actually or this was CO2 which has been mineralized in the subsurface of Iceland. So what we have now is some small plants all around Europe and the 4000 ton plant which is about to, to be operational right now. However, we, re we, we know that these are uh, very small steps in the fight against climate change. So we need to scale up quite significantly to have an impact. And therefore we have a roadmap where the next plant will be bigger than 50,000 tons of CO2 per year. It's in commissioning phase right now, uh, in engineering, sorry, in engineering phase right now. And when this is done, we want to multiply it to much bigger plants or more plants, so both is possible. And bigger plants doesn't mean bigger collectors, but more of these plants at the same location. And as you, you may understand is that we have two very big challenges to tackle at Kleinbergs. So on the one hand side, we need to improve the technology. So if you look from the, the first plant, if you, you look at the two first pictures, you see that this has already changed. This is because we have improved the technology. So we changed the process a little, we changed filter material, we improved the process. So one part of the company really makes sure that we, we make it more efficient, use less energy, make it cheaper. And another part needs to make sure that what we do is really scalable. So if we, for example, develop a new sorbent material, so a, a new filter material, we need really to make sure that it, it's scalable so that it can be produced at a very large scale and that um, also the impact on the environment. So uh, as I explained before, the LCA is beneficial. Otherwise, this material will be uh, discharged or not looked at further. Here you see a map of all our plants. So at the moment, we have 14 plants uh, up and running all around Europe. So we have plants in Iceland, plants in the middle of Europe and in Italy. And this is very important since the the feedstock to our uh, process is the ambient air. And you, you understand that air is not equal to air. The humidity might change quite significantly. The temperature might change si uh, significantly. Even the concentration of CO2 might change a bit, depending if you are up in the fresh air of the mountains or in a very industrial area. So given this, we we really need to understand how our process is reacting to these changes in the in the feed, so in the environment. And therefore, uh, it's very important to have these plants there, even though most of them are pretty small, but uh, we, we learn a lot. And as I explained before, due to the modular approach, we can learn a lot already by installing a very small unit. Um, there are many articles in science supporting our uh, technology. There, there are lots of studies, uh, including DAC. Even the IPCC report is mentioning DAC as one of the solution to go. So, so there is a lot of um, reading material you could uh, consult on the technology. We were also broadcasted in many uh, 
TV shows or also newspapers. So uh, there we are very proud of. We were in the New York Times. There was a, an article in The Economist also in The New Yorker. So th there were lots of articles about DAC and also about us, which makes us very proud. And this is very important for us. So if I come to our w vision, which is to inspire 1 billion people to remove carbon dioxide from the air, this is very helpful. So we understand that we cannot solve the problem or, or the, the, this huge challenge ourselves. So everybody needs to contribute. And therefore, we really want to inspire people to work on the technology, to do something, to contribute, to, to, to take their share uh, in order to, to tackle the huge problem. And uh, what we also did, um, we realized that many individuals would like to contribute, but they don't know how. And what we, we offered then is um, that every individual could also buy negative emissions from us on our website at a very small scale up to bigger scale. So if there, there are people who say, hey, I, I want to be part of the story, I want to do something, then uh, there's the possibility to do it with us. So this was from my side. I hope you found it interesting. And I'm happy to take questions if there are some. Nathalie. Natalie, th thank you um, very much. Um, we, we don't have technological questions for you, but we do want to know um, how fast Climeworks is, how fast Climeworks is growing, um, because uh, in this part of the world we know to try and tell the difference between hype and, 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 and fact, but there is a lot of attention, and, and you're right at the center of it, you're at the nexus of it, so um, how, how, how how are you faring? Are you growing at a fast pace? Are you getting more orders? Uh, how, is the, how is the technology progressing? Uh, yeah, we, we are growing really, really fast. So uh, we are growing in people. So Good. I think the company doubled its size, I would say, last year. Now we are about 140. Before we were about 80. So nearly doubled. Um, another thing we also do, we, we partnering up with others. So we realized it, that the, the challenge is so big, we need to, to be so fast that we need help also from others. So in technology, but also in other uh, fields, we are partnering up with people in order to be really at the cutting edge. So to have access to the best materials, to have access to, to, to uh, money as well. So people supporting us. And as you said, there are more and more companies who are really willing to support us also now, where the technology might be a bit more expensive than it will be in some years, but they really say, okay, I want to be part of the story. We need to do something. So uh, Stripe, you mentioned before, is one of them. And th they are others. So there is also Microsoft and others yeah. who really um, do the, the journey with us and say, hey, we want to be part of it. And Nathalie, that actually extends to countries. We're, we're intrigued here because Switzerland is clearly a powerhouse of innovation, but it's a, a very independent country. It is known for its independence. And you've also linked up with another very small nation of Iceland with three quarters of a million people, 800,000 people, again, a very independent-minded people. Uh, that's, I, I, is that a relationship at government level with Iceland? Because you're, you're involved in such, such, such breakthrough technology, or is it actually just with companies in Iceland? Yeah, I, I think Carbon Carb Fix was a, a governmental program. So, so that this whole storage. So, Iceland has very good conditions to do storage. So, I think there are other places in the world with, with similar conditions, and they are also uh, now starting all these discussions. But uh, I would say Nordic countries here in Europe are really um, at the forefront of the fight against climate change, and Iceland is as well. And um, there has also been some uh, politicians involved. So the, the, the support in Iceland was really big. Okay. That's also why uh, Iceland is one of, of the first ones or is the first one actually doing the DAC with storage. 
so with our technology. Well, good for you. Well, look, Natalie, uh, thank you very much for being with us. You're, you're on an invite to Belfast. Um, you don't have a plant here yet, but you're on an invite to Belfast for MTAC Europe 2022, and hopefully we'll be in person and have a, a live audience. But, you know, Climeworks will always be part of the sustainability story going forward. So thank you again for being with us and, and give our regards to the entire Climeworks team. I will, and I will be very happy to be in Belfast next year. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Bye, Charles. Bye,